Neurologist Elizabeth Gardner with an update. That's right. Finally, we got the five o'clock mm -hmm. advisory in, and uh, the storm has weakened just slightly. Um, we were, you know, getting a little bit excited about that, but no need to get too excited about that. This still looks like it's going to be a very strong category three storm as it makes landfall in North Carolina. Well, let's go straight to it and take a look at the storm now. And we start off in Raleigh and head down south. Already seeing some clouds streaming into North Carolina from this storm and it is huge. Just a massive storm out here sitting right now off the coast of Florida. Winds at 110 and that's the first decrease in wind speed that we've seen in at least 24 hours. It had been sitting just at 115 for a while. It is moving north at 14 so it continues to move along at a pretty good clip to the north and uh, you know it'd be nice if it would take that northeasterly turn but we're not expecting it to do that just yet. Here's Saturday at 2 a.m. Winds at 115 so it is likely to increase back to 115 sitting just off the coast of North Carolina. And then this is a site that, you know, you just don't want to see. Sitting right there in the sounds and you know just to the right of the eyes where we have the most powerful part of the storm. And you can see where Cape Hatteras sits in relationship to that. Not a good sight at all. Saturday at 2 p.m. with winds at 120 miles per hour. We'll likely have a good bit of flooding. And uh, actually, this may be, uh, it still looks like the same track. Sometimes they'll uh, send it down twice. That was the updated track. Uh, we do have a hurricane watch that's in effect for a good portion of eastern North Carolina. A flood watch also for that area. Around here, we'll likely see several inches of rain and gusts up to 50 miles per hour. But we're going to try to outline that what we're expecting here a little bit more coming up. Okay, thanks.